Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. If, like me, you constantly use your flex shaft or a Dremel, or some sort of powered handpiece, and you do lots of um, setting, you do lots of drilling, you're gonna get, as well, you can see on my bench here, I've got goodness knows what, I need to really need to, to tidy this up. But you've got obviously little bits of lemon, little bits of shavings floating around the place. And one little area that really does get overlooked, um, it's a little tip that I was made aware of actually um, on one of the Facebook groups um, a short while back. And this is a, a fantastic real tip that I haven't really thought of really until, until I read it. Um, I've had problems in the past with my hand pieces. This is a, a number 30 hand piece that goes on my, my flex shaft. I've got a little quick release hand piece here. And in the past I've had uh, problems with the with the burr going slightly out of out of center, especially when you're drilling or you're doing some really accurate stuff, um, it really does go out of center and it, it just wobbles slightly. Now I've put that down to perhaps a manufacturing fault with a handpiece, but this has happened to me several times now over the past, I don't know, 15, 20 years or, or more than that actually since I've been using the, the, the pendant motors. And the one little area of a pendant motor that really get overlooked is not the, the bushes or the shaft, it's the actual handpiece. And the actual handpiece, the little chuck that we've got on the ends of our handpiece is here. Now, this area is subjected to dirt, to dust, to polish, to bits of lemon, and everything that gets chucked up, and it gets caught up in the little chuck area, both on this one and also in this number 30 handpiece as well. And the area that gets overlooked is the inside of this chuck. Now, this is what this tip um, talked about. Um, you can get pipe cleaner brushes. These are brushes that are used to clean um, pipes, smoking pipes, the, um, the shaft or the stem, mouthpiece, whatever, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it's to clean those out. Now, these are the ideal size for actually getting down inside the little chuck areas to give it a good clean, to get rid of all those little bits of uh, dust, the little bits of polish, the, 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 the fibers that get caught into it, the, the dust, the, yeah, you get the general, general gist of it. And what we need to do is just simply get that, and I've bought these from a well-known auction site, um, eBay, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere and everywhere. Uh, and they're just simple, almost oh, little nylon brushes on the ends of twirly bits of twirly bits of wire in various sizes. This is like one pound fifty, and there's five of them on here. And the idea is, you just simply get the brush and you put it down inside the chuck. And you just put it down inside, and you just move it up and down. And you have to try and then get all the little bits and you keep the inside of this little chuck area nice and clean. And these little bristles will get in between the little splines on here. Likewise, on this one as well, you can get that inside. You can really do get clean. Um, a compressed air would do exactly the same thing. This chuck's a little bit wide, so I can put one of the wider brushes in and just get in there. And that will get in between. You can see there's actually little bits coming out of this one now. So there's all little bits of polish, little bits of metal that will actually stop that drill from being completely centered within the chucks. It only takes a fraction of a, a millimeter on one jaw that's a little bit of polish that gets caught. Um, it's not gonna keep that drill central. It's gonna keep it slightly off and you're not gonna get very accurate results. So my little tip, occasionally every month or so, Clean these little areas that we've got. Clean the chucks on all your pendant drills, your flex shafts, or your dremels to make sure they are nice and clean. So there we go, pipe cleaner brushes. I'll leave the link down in the description where you can get yours. You can get them anywhere. A brilliant little tip. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, smash that little bell icon to be notified when films go live on our At The Benches YouTube channel. Don't forget, give this film a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share it with your friends and I'll catch you on the next film. Take care. Bye bye for now.